Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today in this video we are going to create a classic snake game using Python and the Turtle graphics library. Okay. We all know with older Nokia phones we had an old age addiction with the snake game. But of course we don't have it anymore. What if you could write one for yourself using Python? It's amazing. So we are going to creating this amazing game. By the end of this tutorial you will have a fully functional snake game that you can play and even customize to your liking. Okay, so let's dive right in without any further delay. So before we start coding the game, let's set up our development environment, okay? So we will be using the turtle library for graphics and random for generating random numbers. So first of all, I am going to create a python file snake game.py, okay? Now here, we will write the code. And the turtle graphics is a pre-installed library in python, so we don't need to install the turtle library. and I have also made a lots of videos and creating a lots of shapes by using python turtle graphics. So now let's write the code. So we start by importing the turtle library or graphics and random for generating random numbers. So here snake game using python from turtle import star. It import all the libraries in turtle. And from random now there is also one package that is called free games which is used to import a vector we use the vector in later okay i will tell you so first of all go to the terminal and install the free games module okay by using pip command so here i have already installed but again i will show you okay how to install simply write here pip install free games okay so in my case it shows requirement already satisfied because i have already installed it you can install it from this command now import this package so next we initialize some variables and we define our game elements then we have the foot the green square and the snake a list of coordinates and the aim the direction in which the snake is moving so first of all food food is equal to vector now here vector function is used to represent positions in our game okay 0 comma 0 next for snake so the vector function is used to represent positions in our game and the snake starts at 10 comma 0 coordinates and the initial direction is up now the next section is changing a snake direction okay changing snake direction So our snake game wouldn't be fun without user interaction. So we have created the change function to respond to arrow key presses and adjust the snake's direction accordingly. Okay. So the change function updates the aim vector based on the user's input. When you press an arrow key, it sets the direction of the snake to move in that particular direction. So here we have the change function def change x comma y. This is the x and y coordinates. Now m dot x is equal to X. Now this change function updates the m vector based on the user's input. When you press an arrow key, it sets the direction of the snake to move in that particular direction. Now the next section is, we have to keep the snake within boundaries, okay? In a game like this, it's crucial to keep the snake within the boundaries of our game grid. We don't want it to wander off the screen. So for keeping the snake within boundaries, we have created the inside function to do just that okay then here def inside and it takes the parameter head and it returns true and it returns true if head inside boundaries otherwise it returns false now what is the working of this function so we want to keep our snake within the game boundaries which are set from minus 200 to 190 in both x and y direction okay and the inside function checks if the snake's head is inside the boundaries or not yes so this is the working of this function keeping snake within boundaries okay now the next section is moving the snake okay moving the snake 
so let's make our snake actually move on the screen this is where the game starts to take shape okay now we are going to create a move function which is the heart of our game it is responsible for moving the snake forward one segment at a time but we also need to consider when the game is over so first of all let's create a move function def move and it doesn't take any parameter head is equal to snake minus one dot copy now here we have to apply some condition and what is that condition now the condition is if the snake hits the boundaries or collides with itself then it's game over in this case we display the snake head in red and exit the game okay so write the code for same now if not inside if the head is not inside the boundaries or head in snake then simply square Okay, then simple return and the game will be over and now snake dot append head not satisfied then else we have to simply snake dot append head okay now simply appends the head segment in the snake and it grows his size now let's see the another section which is the food and snake growth okay Now let's add some excitement to our game by introducing food for the snake to eat. When the snake's head reaches the food, it grows and new food appears at the random location. Okay. So here the random module is used. We have to write in the same indentation. If head is equal to is equal to food, then we have to simply print the snake and the length of the snake. Okay. It shows how many times the snake eats the food. Same for Our next section is drawing the game. So simply add a comment. Now our game needs to be visually appealing. We use the turtle graphics library to draw everything on the screen, including the snake, food, and the game grid. Now this clear function clears the screen and then we use a loop to draw the snake's body and the food on the screen. Now let's use a loop to draw the snake's body. So here we use a loop to draw the snake's body and the food on the screen. The snake is drawn in black and the food in green. Okay, same code for food now the next section is game loop here the game keeps running in a loop the move function is called repeatedly and the snake moves the food updates and everything is displayed on the screen okay so update the food and we use the on timer function here to call the move function every 100 milliseconds creating a dynamic and interactive game loop so we use here on timer function which calls the move function in every 100 milliseconds move 100 okay now the next section is setting up the game window let's add a comment so we start by configuring the game window we set the dimensions and other settings to create an ideal gaming experience. Now with setup we define the window size and hide the turtle cursor. So write the code for the same. Here setup. Now with setup we define the window size and hide turtle hides the turtle cursor. Okay. And we simply setting the tracer to false which ensures smooth and fast rendering 
so the another most important section is adding keyboard controls okay for keyboard controls we use the listen function to listen for key presses and on key to associate functions with those key presses so listen function we use here listen function and listen function for listen to, for key presses and on key to associate functions with those key presses so for for example pressing right arrow key changes the aim vector to move to the right so here we use the on key and in the function lambda we all know lambda in python that it is an anonymous function without the function name and it can take any number of arguments but it can have only one expression so lambda change so it is for right and simply we will do this for right left up and down okay okay simply change the not change the coordinates only now that's it our snake game is ready to play we call the move function to start the game loop and the snake will move based on your input so call the move function and done okay now run this code and see the magic now i will control this by using the arrow key and you see if the snake eats that green food the snake size is increased and now we don't need any nokia phone to play this game now i will show you by colliding into the wall now the game ends okay now you can see my score is 12 okay so congratulations You have just created a simple yet fun snake game in Python using the Turtle Graphics library. You can further customize and enhance this game to make it your own. Okay, so play this amazing game and comment your score in the comment section below. Okay, if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting videos. And if you have any questions or need help with the code, feel free to leave a comment, and I will be happy to assist you. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.